hello YouTube viewers. I'm here for another third time vlog for you guys. This one is going to be for, you know, this one's for the Thomas and Friends, I promise this. The Little Inches Can Do Big Things. Let's not waste any more time. And it is by Brett Alcraft. Alcraft, you know, from the, based on the series by Reverend Ardway. Hopefully. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Let's just get on with the story. Things are very busy on the island of Solar. Sir Tavon Hatt was on a way on vacation. All Indians are doing their best and really useful. But Thomas the Tank Engine did not feel useful at all. James teased Thomas for bumping into the buffers. Gordon scolded Thomas for being late. They made Thomas feel unimportant. Important is big, told Gordon Thomas, and we are big engines. You are small. Bossy brackets, grumbled Thomas. I'll show them. Remember, to, uh, if you guys watch the Thomas and Friends on Netflix or Net or Nickelodeon or watch the older ones, you know what I mean. Little engines can do big things, Thomas said to himself, especially when they have nice blue paint like me. But just then Harold the helicopter flew and making big cloud of dust. Thomas, nice blue paint you got all dirty. Two nasty diesels made fun of Thomas. Let's start laughing now, they said, and they did. Oh, poor Thomas. Poor Thomas. Thomas was de de demanded to prove little it just could be useful too. That night, Thomas was right on time doing his mail route. Even comforted Percy, who felt bad for being late. <laughs> the next morning, Thomas saw Henry look in gloom. Morning, Henry, peeped Thomas. What is the matter? I've got boiler egg. Henry told him. Thomas offered to fetch some special coal for Henry. Thank you, Thomas, said Henry. Special coal will make me feel much better. Thomas smiled and puffed away. Really useful indeed. Do you remember that one story that that, that China Time Station had about Henry being afraid of a few drops of rain? Well, if you have to, you can get off. You can get. You can pause, look up, look up Time Time Station, and there's and there, look up one of the episodes where Mr. Conductor explained how Thomas was afraid to get, get out of the tunnel. Near a set of old buffers, Thomas set to work collecting the coal cars, but at le the last car was not. Coupled properly, Thomas did not notice the coal cars sadly completely backwards. Did not notice necessarily disappearing through the old buffers. But it wasn't until later Thomas realized the coal car was missing. Do you think I know who that is? I was up near the buffers when the last coal car disappeared, Thomas, Thomas told Percy. Percy got very excited. Maybe those buffers are the, are the entrance to the Magic Railroad, he cried. The engines had heard the legend of the Magic Railroad and the beautiful golden engine called Lady, who gave the railroad a magic power. Lady had disappeared long ago. Magic Railroad had disappeared with her. Percy, you are you are clever. 
I was extremely and hurried away. Thomas was steaming back to, to the old office. He knew bringing Lady back would really be useful, but he was nervous too. What if I go on the magic wheel road and my wheels don't work? Thought Thomas. What if it's dark? But Thomas kept going and reached to the old buffers and passed right through. Do you remember that movie, The Magic Railroad? Let's see what Thomas is up to now. The Magic Railroad was dark and scary, but it was also beautiful. Thomas found the missing coal car with the coal curved properly. He continued along the Magic Railroad. Thomas passed through another set of buffers, and the world had he he had never seen before. This was the other end of the magic railroad, and home of Lady and the Golden Engine. Excuse me while I try to get rid of this notification here. Come on, silly thing, get out of here. I noticed it was blocking, so... Lady had not run many years, but it held special coal from the island of Soldor. She was soon steaming again. Lady moved along her lovely face, revealed once more. The rails became clear and golden, and beautiful shavings fell behind her and gathered between tracks. The magic rail railroad was coming back to life. The, Thomas followed Lady back through the buffers. With a war, two little engines bursting onto the island of Soap. Hooray for Thomas! And the engines cheered. Lady was back, and the magic railroad would run, run once again. You see, said Thomas, little engines can do big things. Okay, we'll be back um, later on t t um, today to do the special delivery one. So I'm glad you're enjoying this. Um, if you know, we'll do more. So hopefully, this will not take long. Until next time, peace out.